Our hearts cry out for our love for you is so strong. For we know that from you we have come, and unto you we belong. How fortunate we are to be best with the ability of loving you. This is the only love that lasts forever, the love that remains true. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to your new show, The Secrets of the Heart. All praise is due to Allah. All thanks are due to Allah. We praise Him. We seek His aid and we ask for His forgiveness. We seek the protection of Allah from the evils of ourselves and the evils of our evil actions. And we send peace and blessings on our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah alone, who has no partners. And I bear witness that Muhammad is his servant and his messenger. Welcome to a new show, The Secrets of the Heart. The heart, this very important subject and this is one of the dearest subjects to me personally and I believe it's the most important subject in this life and in the life to come. The heart is the most important aspect of this life. It's the most important thing that we have to focus on because with neglecting our hearts we will lose the beauty of this world and the ultimate happiness in the next life. The heart occupies a high position. The question is, why did we dedicate a whole show on the heart and its secrets? Inshallah, together in this series, we will travel from this world to a new world, which is the world of the heart. There's a different world, a different atmosphere, a different air, different rules that we will try to learn, we'll try to live with, we'll try to uncover the secrets of the heart, the beauties of the heart, and the great potential that we can find in the world of the heart. So we arrive, inshallah, at a new land of opportunities. And you will discover, inshallah, as myself as well, hopefully, that after or by the end of this show, we will be able to discover a new treasure a new potential that Allah has put in us so we can benefit from it, so we can reach and fulfill our ultimate goal, that is real success in this life and arriving at the ultimate happiness and joy of the hereafter and to make it, inshallah, to paradise by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why do we talk about the heart? A very important question. There are so many subjects around we can talk about. But why dedicate a whole show on the heart? What do we mean by dedicating quite a long time on talking about the heart? Does it really help us so much? What is the benefit that we can get from the heart and from understanding the rules of the heart? Inshallah, all these questions will be answered throughout the show. But today, inshallah, we'll try, we will try to focus and we will try to explain why the subject of the heart is of paramount importance. Actually, it's the, of the utmost importance in our lives. Just going to a very basic level, in our everyday language, when we describe and when we talk about our, any subject and we try or we talk about the core of the matter, the most important aspect of a subject, or the bottom line of any subject, we say that's the heart of the matter. We say that's the essence, that's the heart, that's the core of this matter. So the heart means the most important aspect. We use that in our everyday language. We describe different things. If we want to talk about the most important aspect of anything, we say this is the heart of the matter. This is the heart of the issue means that's the reality of it. That's the most important thing of it. That's the central aspect of this thing we are talking about. So when we deal with a problem, we say that this is the heart of the problem. When we talk about physical 
objects. When we talk about the city, we say this is the heart of the city. It means the most active and the most vibrant and the most significant and important part of the city where the most important activities take place. And even in other things, when anything we deal with, when we describe the most important thing in it, we always describe it as the heart. As the heart. And this is the reality of our hearts. Our hearts are the most important thing in this world. The heart of human beings is the point of focus, the focal point in our existence in this world. That's the reality of the heart. So this is why we will talk, inshallah, through, throughout this series about this important subject of the heart. We will try to see what do we mean when we say the heart. We'll try to understand the reality of our hearts because from personal experience, I know that the majority of us don't really understand the heart as we should be understanding it. Most of us fail to give the heart its real importance and significance. Whereas in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the heart is the most important thing. First of all, we say the heart plays a major role in human behavior. What you are, what kind of person you are, and what kind of person you are going to be. Your behavior, your conduct, your whole life is decided but what, by what kind of heart you, you have. Your heart decides, decides everything for, for you. It decides all these aspects of your life are decided by the heart. This is why the Prophet ﷺ says in the hadith that is narrated by an numan ibn Bashir, may Allah be pleased with him, which was reported by Al-Bukhari and Muslim. The Prophet ﷺ says, Indeed, in the body there is a piece of flesh. He's talking about the heart. There is a piece of flesh in the heart. If it is sound and intact, ala wa inna fil jasadi mudra. إِذَا صَلَحَتْ صَلَحَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّهُ If this piece of flesh, if it's sound and intact, the whole body, all the limbs, will be sound and intact. وَإِذَا فَسَدَتْ فَسَدَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّهُ And if it's corrupt, if it's spoiled, then the whole body will be spoiled. Indeed, this piece of flesh is the heart. This is the central role that the heart plays in our lives. So our, all our conduct, the way we go about, the way we carry ourselves in this world, the way we react to different things, the way we see different things, all of this is decided in the heart and by the heart. So what your heart is, this is your reality. This is what kind of person you are. So the Prophet ﷺ says, if your heart is sound, then all your actions will be sound. You don't have to worry about that. But if your heart is corrupt, all of your body, all of your actions, everything you do, generally speaking, will be corrupt. So this is the central position or the central station that the heart occupies in our lives, in our behavior. And this is a very key point for those who are after reform, those who are concerned with the welfare and the well-being of, of the Muslim Ummah as individuals and as a whole nation. If you want to rectify yourself, if you want to improve yourself spiritually, in terms of your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you, your main focus should be on the heart. Because once you get your heart right, all the actions will follow suit. Very simple. Many people pay great attention to their actions. They forget about the heart. So they spend their lives trying to fix, to, trying to fix their actions, trying to fix their deeds, trying to fix some superficial mistakes. And they waste their, their time. You have to find the root of the matter. And the root of everything you do, everything you say, is in the heart. So if you manage to get to your heart and fix it and rectify it, everything else will be rectified so easily because everything will follow the heart. So if you have a sound heart, 
then your actions will be sound. Everything you do, everything you say, the way you speak, the way you look at things, the way you think, all of this is dependent on the heart. So our main focus should be on the heart. Once we fix it, as I said, everything will follow suit. Everything will be automatically rectified and will be set right, insha'Allah. So this is why we talk about the heart. Uh, some of the beautiful statements that were said by one, a person from the early generations, actually some books trace that back to the Prophet wasallam. but as far as I know, it's not, it's not been traced authentically to the Prophet wasallam. But it's a, very, it's, it's a very true statement. It says that the heart is the king. The heart is the leader of the whole human being. That's your leader, that's your manager, that's the king. So if the king is righteous, if the leader is righteous, if the commander is righteous, the limbs which are the soldiers of that commander will be also righteous. They will follow the example of their commander. But if the king or the commander is corrupt, then the whole army, the, all of the other soldiers will be also corrupt. So the heart is the leadership. Heart is the king, the heart is the commander. So if it's all right, everything will be okay. If your heart is pure, your actions will be pure. If your heart is honest, then your words will be honest, your actions will be honest. So this is why we have to focus on the heart, not on the actions. The actions are the symptoms, the actions are the reflection. What is in our hearts, you will find it mirrored. It will be replicated, it will be represented and reflected in our actions. This is why our main focus should be on the heart. Always another reason that uh, makes us focus on the heart is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is concerned with our hearts. The way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala weighs up our own status is by our hearts. This is why the Prophet ﷺ says in the authentic hadith narrated by Muslim, he says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَنْظُرُ إِلَىٰ صُوَرِكُمْ وَأَمْوَالِكُمْ Allah indeed is not concerned. Allah doesn't look at your looks and your wealth. These things matter very little to Allah. They, they actually, they, they, they carry no weight in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But what really matters in the sight of Allah, وَلَكِنْ يَنْظُرُ إِلَىٰ قُلُوبِكُمْ وَأَعْمَالِكُمْ What really matters in the sight of Allah are your hearts and your actions. So what Allah looks at, what Allah, or the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala judges us is by our hearts. And the actions, obviously, as we said, are a reflection of what is in the heart. So when Allah judges us, when Allah weighs up our situation, He looks at our hearts. That's the essence of our lives. That's the essence of this life. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is concerned with the hearts, we know that Allah is the all-wise, Allah is the all-knowing. So he knows what to look at. Allah knows what's the most important. Allah knows what really matters. So from this knowledge we can arrive at the conclusion that if we want to be better individuals, if we want to be better Muslims, if we want to make it to paradise, focus on your hearts. So hopefully by this we have come to understand some of the importance and the significance and we hopefully we have justified why we have dedicated this show fully to talk about the heart the secret of the, the secrets of the heart and the world the whole world of the hearts and we will inshallah in the next episodes we'll try to uncover the rules and the treasures of the world of the heart so you are invited to join us and benefit from this show until we meet next time السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته
cry out for our love for you is so strong. For we know that from you we have come, and unto you we belong. How fortunate we are to be best with the ability.